Thank you very, very much. National Overseer, Bishop Thompson, and Mrs. Thompson, General Headquarters, officials, bishops, other ministers, melodious choirs, visiting delegates, my Christian brethren. It is again a pleasure and an honor for me to greet you once more in one of your great conventions, this 69th convention. I'm particularly honored to do so on behalf of the government and the people of the Bahamas. And I want to offer warm congratulations and very best wishes. And I hope that the evenings and the days will continue to be just as enjoyable and as inspiring as this evening. I should like, as Minister of Tourism, to extend a warm welcome to visiting delegations and to those individuals who have come from far and near to join this great convention. You are welcome in the Bahamas, I am sure, and there are no people anywhere who are warmer than the Bahamian people. Therefore, I am satisfied that you are in good hands. Please accept my warmest congratulations and my welcome. The only thing I am sorry about is that I haven't been able to attend chronologically all the conventions. This evening has been particularly inspiring. But you know, I think I've now attended consecutively about 20. And when I was a boy, I, can, I did a few others too. But you know, I have to say, as the old man said to the youth, if you would only slow down a little, I might be able somehow to catch up. But that is impossible. Nevertheless, I intend to go on coming and coming as long as I can and as long as you will have me. I noted the theme, the very insightful theme. Stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. A very appropriate theme, I think, for a people appropriate theme for a free people, for a people rejoicing in their religious freedom, worshiping the true and only God, and living in the greatest sovereign free nation in the whole world. <clears throat> I know that my American friends in particular might want to challenge that. But I did say the greatest little free nation, sovereign nation in the whole world. I'll grant them that they are a very, very large nation. I should also, though, want to remind them that in 1647, when this place was colonized by the Lutheran adventurers, they named their headquarters Eleuthera. The Greek word for freedom is Eleutheria, and Eleuthera is here in the Bahamas. This is where freedom really sprung in this part of the world. But lest I be thought to be controversial, I shall go off on another tack. As a Christian, I have studied well the words of which Paul wrote to the Galatians. A people, the Galatians were a people whose ancestors were freed from bondage by God through Moses, and they themselves were freed from under the law by Jesus Christ, His Majesty Jesus Christ. Now, as for the Bahamas, I think of myself as a cabinet minister 
of what's happening here, and I consider the freedom which we enjoy, the freedom through which God has given us a sovereign nation. And I cry with pride and joy. Yes, stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. Freedom imposes, of course, certain responsibilities and obligations. Sometimes we believe to be free means to be able to do anything you feel like. That is so only to a certain extent. And so, as we think of the freedom, the freedom of which Paul spoke, and the freedom we have in every way, shape, and form, all freedom comes from God. And therefore, I ask you tonight, in this great convention, to stand fast for fulfilling all the obligations, all the responsibilities. Stand fast in love and praise of the Lord. Stand fast in loving our neighbors, in courtesy and in, in industry and in hospitality. Stand fast in service. Stand fast in honesty and integrity. Stand fast for that which is right, which is good, which is holy. And stand fast for what God would want this country, our Bahama land, to be. Stand fast to make it so. Help it to come to pass. And when you have stood, and when you have faltered, and when you have stumbled as you would, stand fast again. Stand fast and make all the things that are good for our freedom and for our God and for ourselves come true. I thank you very much. Thank you very much.